I am Adil Kumar and in this video we will calculate angle of intersection between lines. The question is the angle of intersection between lines with slope m1 and m2 is given by the formula tan of phi equals to m2 minus m1 divided by 1 plus m1 m2. You can look into my derivation of this from the link provided. The question here is find the angle between the lines y equals to 3x and x equals to 3. So we are given two different lines one is y equals to 3x and the other one is x equals to 3. Now in this particular case what is the slope of first line? Let us say that slope of this line is equals to it is equals to 3 right it is in the slope intercept form however what is the slope of that line? This is a vertical line and the slope is undefined. Right? So the idea here is that there could be times when you cannot really use this formula to find angle between the lines. Right? So in that case, we'll use kind of logic. And that is, let me first sketch the lines. If I want to sketch x equals to 3, which is a vertical line kind of like this, right, with x intercept of 3, right, so this is x intercept of 3. The other line is 3 times x, it goes through the origin, and the slope is kind of steep, so it, so let me just make a line like this, okay. Let us assume that that slope is 3. Now the question is, what is the angle between these two lines, right? What is the angle between these two lines? Now, whenever you have a situation where the slope is undefined, in that case, we cannot use the formula, right? So here, uh, we know M1 and M2 must be defined, right? So this formula is not valid for lines which are vertical, right? So in that case, what is really happening is we can find the angle of the first line, right? So we know slope is 3. So basically, rise over run is 3. So we know tan of theta 1 is equals to 3. So theta 1 is tan inverse of 3, correct? Let's use the calculator to find this value. So we have shift tan inverse of 3, bracket close, equal to 71.56. Let's say this is 71.6 degrees. So this angle here is the, is the angle we're talking about, 71.6. Now we know this is 90 degrees, correct? Since this angle is 90 degrees, we can find the other angle. Let's call this angle as phi. So the angle between the line is 90 degrees minus, I mean, 71.6 degrees, correct? So we'll do that. So we have 90 take away 71.6, that gives you in decimals 18.4 degrees. So the idea here is in case you have a vertical line, you should not be using this formula. You can actually find the complement of an angle which you have already done, right? So so angle between these two lines will be 18.4 degrees, right? So normally when we say angle, we are normally finding the acute angle being measured counterclockwise. So that is this angle, okay? I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.